Hello, today I'm going to show you MindNode, which is a mind mapping application for your Mac. In my case, it is called MindNode Pro. You can get it from www.mindnode.com. And if you don't know what mind mapping or MindNode is, this screencast maybe is the exact, the exact right thing for you. First of all, you have on the center of your new created mind map a so-called main node. You can create whoops you can create additional main nodes by hitting the keyboard shortcut which is uh, shift return or you can uh, use the menu item here so what mind mapping is all about you got in the middle of your mind map your main node your main node is your main problem in my case i'm going to plan a new podcast episode which is about getting things done um the idea behind mind mapping is that you create additional so-called sibling nodes in this case which tell some more detail about the problem. So in my case I go here, select this one, drag it out and say this is about, let's say, I have some podcasters with me that are podcasting. I create a new sibling node here which is we have some guests, whoops, not, not bests. Yes. Um, one of our podcasts is called, um, let's say, Steve. The other one is called um, Peter. No. So, and our guest is called uh, Andreas, my name. I'm the guest of my own podcast. Why not? Okay. As you can see here, we have... The main problem, which is the new podcast episode, we have here podcasters that, which take part at the podcast episode, at the show, and we have some podcasters here, they are called Peter and Steve. And on the other side we have guests, they are called Andreas. So what else do we need in order to create a new podcast episode? Um, we need some equipment. So. We do a little brainstorm now. We, le we need equipment. We need maybe we need software. We need uh, hardware. We need uh, microphones. The microphone's called Samson. And what else do we need? We need software. The software is called, in our case, audio recorder. And this is the good thing about mind mapping. You don't have to have an order or an organization in your mind map by creating all these uh, nodes. Just enter them and all the organization happens when you're done. So I have this software node here and audio recorder, as I told before, is, an, is a software for recording audio. And I want to put the software audio recorder down on this node software. So when I'm moving this node here and I'm hovering over the software, you can see the blue rectangle here. And when I'm holding the node a few seconds above the software, you see that it's blinking and my node has created a new child node, child node from software to audio recorder. But the disadvantage here is that the color of the node itself, of the branch, is green, but it should be uh, blue. So let's remove it. There's a trick. You can hold down the option key while moving and the new sibling node will take the color from the parent node. So we do this with, the, with all the remaining nodes. We have the equipment here. The equipment is called software. We have in the software, uh, in the equipment tab, you have software, uh, we have microphones, the Samsung, and this is hardware. So by now we have created a few nodes here and they are now organized. You can adjust settings of your nodes like color by selecting all your node items and put here stroke, put node color here. You see that it's getting more dark blue or navy blue and 
One cool thing about MindNode Pro, you don't have this feature in the, the normal version of MindNode, in the free version of MindNode. You can select all your, all your nodes, and in order to reorganize them, you can go to the menu, reorganize nodes, and you see that all these nodes are now, sorry, now it's working. You can see that all of the nodes are now organized. This looks pretty great, but let's go even further, even deeper. Let's say we want to link some of these nodes to the equipment. Let's say our podcasters here use microphones and let's say we have our guest, he's using a headset. A headset. So I hold down the shift key on the beginning node and you see that I got this little arrow here and I'm moving it over to Samson and release it. The same with Peter, he's also using the Samson microphone and Andreas is using a headset. So now we have these three connections here, but it's looking mm, not very great, I would say. So let's reorganize it. I've moved it a little so it can remove the inspector so we see, some, uh, see it better. This looks not great. Um, you can select the connection and you get this little circle in the middle which lets you move or, or lets you bend the curve to the microphone so you get you get more de you get a more detailed view how this thing works you see oh this one is going straight to the sam's microphone okay the th great thing here is you can export this mind map to your uh, hard, hard drive by as a PDF or a TIFF image and can send it to your colleagues and they will be very astonished. Promise. <laughs> okay, we can even create some more additional information here. Let's say we have this node. I go into edit mode and I open the inspector. I can go to this uh, menu item here and I can enable the text as hyperlink. I can link to web pages. I can even email, I can even link to a mail message, which now when I click this link here, uh, take me to uh, my email program and I have a new email up with uh, example at mindnode.com as sender, no, as receiver and the subject which I can enter here. Or I can link to a file. I have, let's say I have uh, maybe a picture about, <clears throat> I have a picture of the microphone. I open it here and when I click this link now, Preview opens and will show me a picture of my microphone. This isn't actually my microphone, it is uh, part of my desktop uh, wallpaper, but I think you get the hang. So this is it for your mind mapping application MindNode. If you want, go to www.mindnode.com and download the free version and if you want even more options and features, get the pro version. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.